Hey, welcome to this After Effects tutorial by Flowmotion. Today I am going to show you how to make this 3D text look within After Effects. And therefore I'm going to use no third party plugin. So all effects we are going to use are the built in effects in After Effects. So let's do this. Let's build it from scratch. I've already an After Effects project opened and let's create a new composition. Composition, new composition. Let's make it full HD by 1920 by 1080. 10 seconds is fine. Call it main comp and hit OK. Let's start by creating our background layer. Therefore, let's make a new solid by hitting Control Y or basically layer new solid and let's make it like kind of an orange color and hit OK. Now we can directly call this one our background BG and now let's create the text where we later on want to apply some effects so that it looks like it is 3D. So we'd simply create a new text call this our 3D text. I'm just trying to find a nice layout for the text. Let's just bring out some rulers to position this more nicely by hitting Control R for ruler. Okay, just like so. And now let's position it in the middle. You can do that via the alignment tool here. Just set it to the middle. Rid of our rulers by just dragging them outside of our viewport. And save it. So for our 3D text, we basically just want to have the black outlines where we later on want to apply a shadow. So let me explain how I'm going to do that. I'm duplicating the text, make the bottom one in our shadow color, so basically black, and now I'm taking the top one to cut it out and I'm using an alpha mat for that, so I'm selecting a mat and this will be the alpha mat. So let's just solo that text layer and we have to invert the mat as we have two exact same letter sizes, the top one is cutting out the bottom one, so it's completely gone. Now we just reposition the top one. and We can directly start to see what this will look like. So let's pre-compose that by hitting Control shift c for pre-compose or simply go to layer pre-compose and call this shadow. To make this shadow look more realistic, let's apply some radial blur to it. So we go to our effects and presets, type in radial, and there we have a bunch of different options for radial blur. So just take the CC radial blur, bring it onto our shadows. We want to make a fading zoom, and with our center point, we can now define where the light will come from. The shadows are on the bottom and right part. The sun would, in an ideal world, come from somewhere around here. And now let's bring up the amount. Also bring up the quality and bring the amount to something like something like 2 is already fine here. And now what we want to do to make this look more real, not only the shadows, we want to take another part, another copy of our text. So we go into the shadows, copy it once, go back into our main composition and paste it. And now let's switch the color of the text. Of course we don't want to use the matte here. Yeah, let's switch the color of the text to our background color. So now it looks exactly the same as it was before and now 
what I want to do is because we defined our light source to come from somewhere around here, I want to make the text a bit brighter on that side and then let it fade off to the other side. And I can do that if I once again pre-compose our text and call this our base text. I can solo it. And now just apply a ramp effect to it, like a gradient ramp. So now we do kind of the same thing like before. We tint it with the original color and also the white point. Now we want to have our ramp from starting here where the light source has been and ending somewhere here on the text. And so now it goes from orange to the same orange so we can't see it. So let's make the start a little bit brighter. And we can do that by simply going into the middle here. And that increases the brightness. You could also just go more into a warmer color or a yellow color by just going up with our color picker here and click OK. So that's the difference that we have now. It's pretty subtle, but in combination with our background, you should see it. Now our text is basically blending into the background and now we also add the shadows to it and this already starts to look real nice. So next we want to add some highlights. So we have our shadows on the right part so let's add some highlights on the top part. And to do so we just duplicate our base text call it highlights. Also solo this we don't need the gradient ramp. And now let's just make this completely brighter. So without any ramp effect and therefore we could just use a levels effect. And just bring down the input white. Okay. And we bring the highlights beneath everything. And once again we just position them more to the left and top. And the last thing that you can do now is that you can just mask out parts of your highlights or your shadows so that the whole thing doesn't look that clean. So for example, let's create a mask by hitting G or clicking on the pen tool. And I want my shadows to start kind of in the middle of everything. So I'm just masking out that part and just feather it. maybe even more. I'm just going to adjust my ramp a little bit. So that it's not that bright at the beginning. And maybe also cut out some of the highlights. And there we have it. What I have done in my example video is that I have animated my radial blur. And you can see that you get a nice effect. Also if you animate that in combination of the position of your shadows, like when you start with no shadows and then you animate this on so that it looks like the shadows are actually starting there. I'm seeing that I get some shadow over my text and this is just because the shadow is at the moment over the text so let's just bring this down. Last thing I would do here is to create a nice vignette therefore I'm always creating a black solid give it a nice organic mask look hit M subtract it maybe even adjust it a bit more. Feather it a lot by hitting F on the black solid which is our vignette. Feather it a lot like 120 pixels 
maybe even more like 220 and then just go down with the transparency by hitting T something like 12 so there you have it you could also change a few things like in my example I have added a dirt layer on top of everything which blends all of it together and I also applied some noise and grain to give it more of a film look you can do that by creating a new adjustment layer by hitting Control alt y or layer new adjustment layer and then you just call it grain go to your effect and go to add grain and in the preview window if you go to full res you could see how the grain would look and then you go to final output the reason why you have a preview window is simply because the grain takes a lot of time to render so you just want to see it in a small portion or in a small part at first and then apply it to the whole shot and there we have it can turn it on and off again this is without and this is just more of a film look and we are done I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial learned a little bit about the different effects and also what you can achieve by applying different effects to the same layer over and over again stacking it on top of each other and end up with some really nice compositions so that's it for now I hope you learned a little bit and I wish you a lot of fun in After Effects <laughs>